How's it going YouTubers? It's me AMR. Welcome to my unboxing video of the Mercusi's Gigabyte Ethernet Switch. I don't even know if I pronounced that right. But here we are. We've got an Ethernet Switch to sort out the AMR's first world problems which are Ethernet wires. Now I'm not a good, I'm not a great fan of Wi-Fi. I always love my uh, direct wired connections, they are the best for me. So I've got a router and it's got like four or five Ethernet wires sticking right off of it. Uh, it's making the wire management really, really difficult. So here I am, I've got this to unbox. Now then, the main question I'm going to answer is my own, uh, my own basically question that everyone's making unboxing videos of these, but they are not uh, discussing that this has got four, I've got the five port version, the six port version, that if this has all five ports used or four ports used or three ports used, are all three devices still going to get the same download speed as the original connection where, as when they were connected to the router directly? No one's answered that question. I will in this video. So first of all, let's unbox the thing and uh, see what's inside the box. Now, let's go, go, go. This is going to be a rather difficult unboxing because the box is sealed tight oh yeah by the way guys the emr has lost his uh plant the green plant that i used to have in my unboxing videos uh, i have no idea where that's gone it is lost man i really enjoyed that box it gave the aesthetic feel of uh, the unboxing but uh, here we are it's gone but anyways let's just get this out of the way a bit of asmr and, and there we go Right then, now let's unbox the main thing here. Unboxing, unboxing, unboxed. Installation guide, who needs that? You just plug and play, man. It's plug and play, not setting up. So here's the box itself. It's really tiny, dude. It is tiny. So let's unwrap. Oh, I'm loving the texture of that. Nice little box. Well, to be honest with you, it doesn't matter what it looks like because you're going to hardly see this. And here are the Ethernet ports. And they've got these icons on them. Actually, they have got icons. They've got numbers. The numbers. Oh, which way is the right way up? There we go. What the hell? There we go. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And that's where the power goes. And then... Hmm, where is the original Ethernet cable? Where does the original port? It's got also screws if you want to hook it up to the wall. I think it's going to go into one. Hey guys, I threw away the instructions. Let's quickly open them up. <laughs> right, where does uh, the Ethernet port on? The port is connected. Okay, so it's got lights and Ethernet ports, one, two, three, four, router. So you, put, you plug it into any one of those. Yeah. You plug it into any one of those. So I'm going to do uh, number one. So basically, Ethernet port from the router goes into number one. And then you've got one, two, three, four ports free to um, connect all the devices into it. Now let's put that to a side. Um, let's open this. And what we got inside here is the UK adapter. UK adapter, nothing to see here. Just a standard UK. Uh, is it five volts? It is, yeah, the standard 5 volt output adapter. And that's what you get in the box. Now then guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video. I'm going to install this. Once it's installed, I'm going to check the performance and answer the question that I had that no one's answering. Because if it doesn't handle, if it doesn't give the same speed to all three of my devices, that's going to be one, my CCTV system, the second, my PS5, the third, my smart TV, and oh, the fourth, my other smart TV in the other room. So basically, it's going to have all four ports plugged in and it's, they're going to be used at all at the same time. So what I'm going to check is by using all the devices at the same time, is it going to give the exact same speeds that it would have given if it was connected, if the ethernets were connected directly to the router? Right, I'm just going to pause the video now and I'm going to install this. I'll be right back with you guys. Right then, YouTubers, into the AMR's gaming room. As you can see, connection speed download is 345 megabytes per second. Connection speed upload should be also be 300 megabytes per second, but the PS5's 
upload speeds are always capped or something. I'm not sure why they do that. But anyways, this is this. These are the absolute exclusive speeds I'm getting on my PS5 at the moment with this messy, messy setup. As you can see, there's wires all over the place. There's three Ethernet wires sticking out of there. There's a bloody big chunk of Ethernet wire there that's going to the other room, and it is a big mess. So then, onto this small little tiny box that we've just unboxed. I'm gonna install it right now. I'm gonna see if this tiny box still gives me these speeds and it makes a penis look amazing. Right back with you after the installation. Right then guys, so we are back and here it is. Here it is, it's set up, lights are on, the lights at the back, they're on as well. Uh, one of the lights are not on for the white cable in the middle, that's because that device is currently not working at the moment. But as you can see, one, two, three, four of them are connected, I got one to spare. And here is the moment of truth, here is the, literally the question I've been answering, but no one's been answering it, I'm gonna answer it myself. So test internet connection, let's see if, what happens, am I gonna get the same speed as before? Come on, show me what you made out of. Cause if not, this is going straight in the bin. And there we have it guys, we are getting the exact same speeds as before. So this box has passed from me, it works perfect and moreover look at my wall now, it's nice and clean, it's only got, it's only got one wire sticking out of it. Uh, and obviously at the moment I've got this mess to deal with at the moment, I'm going to skip that box at the back. Just for the video purposes, i put it at the back. There we go guys, we're getting the exact same speeds, we're getting amazing speeds, with no problem, no problem at all man. Thank you for watching guys, if you've got any questions regarding the, uh, in the, uh, the Ethernet switch, drop them down in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the like button, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Why don't you comment below, what do you use this for? I do understand my router's right there, you know, connecting it to uh, your Ethernet wires directly to the router is basically, basically the best. But at the moment of time, I don't see an issue because, have a look, I'm getting the exact same speeds as before. So, yeah, just uh, write down in the comments below, what do you use the Ethernet switch for? Uh, and if this worked for you, if you've had any problems with it, blah, blah, blah. Uh, as you know, I always reply to my videos, so no matter how old this video gets, I'm always going to reply to your comments. I'm always going to let you know if there's been any problems uh, with the device or anything of that sort, so that uh, you, uh, you know, keep you in the loop, man. Thank you for watching once again. Stay awesome, guys. Peace out.